We've been adding a ton of new features to Riverside to make live streaming even easier. And today we're introducing lower thirds. Create lower thirds before or during your recording, customize how long they appear on screen, their brand and colors, and you can overlay those whenever you would like live in your Riverside studio. Let me show you how it works. I'm gonna jump into one of my studios here, choose my camera, mic, and speaker, and then let's join the studio. Now you'll see here my studio might look a little different than yours. That's because studio branding is also available. You'll see some of the tools are now on the right hand side, including the new brand tool here. When you click that, all Riverside users will have two themes, both the Riverside and Newsflash colors. But if you're on the standard or pro plan, you can upgrade to the Live Studio add-on, which gets you 1080p high definition live streaming and removing the Riverside watermark from the stream. In addition, you'll get all these other color themes here in the Riverside Studio, or you can choose your own custom brand color and upload a custom background image, and those will all be viewable by your audience when you live stream. I'm gonna choose the Prismatic brand, I like those colors, and you can choose a name style here, and this is actually going to adjust the look of your lower thirds as well, so your studio branding is consistent throughout. And don't forget, all of our new live streaming tools are here in the new live stream menu. You can connect multiple social destinations here, live stream using the Riverside audience link. And with that live studio add-on, click the gear icon here and you can choose 1080p video quality and to remove the watermark. Once we have our studio branding set, I'm gonna click the text tool here on the right hand side. And this is where we can create lower thirds or choose one of the ones already filled. You can duplicate or remove a lower third by clicking the three dots and then remove. Let's add a lower third for the URL of the podcast. I'll click the plus icon here and you'll see a preview of that here on the video. I can also further customize this lower third choosing the size, small, medium, or large. I can choose three different color styles, which again, the main color is being pulled from that studio branding. And you can also choose to align it to the left, center, or right side of the video. Then you can even choose how long this lower third is going to be appearing on the video. You can manually show and hide those lower thirds as well, so just keep the timer off. But I'm gonna choose show for five seconds. Then I can save and show the lower third right now or just save it for later. You'll see that lower third I just created now has a big show button, the timer, which I can still adjust if I wanna just click it, change the amount of time it's gonna be on screen, and then click the three dots to edit it further, duplicate or remove. With a five second timer, if I click show, you'll see that lower third appear and the name labels will disappear momentarily. And then after five seconds, the lower third will automatically remove itself. I'm actually gonna go in and edit it a little further by clicking customize. Maybe I want it to be in the bottom right corner and then we'll save that for later. Now maybe you have a special guest and their name will automatically appear when they join the studio, but we wanna add a little more information to their name. I'll click the plus button to create another lower third. I typed Ryan Reynolds, movie star as the title. He might be joining us today. I'll click customize one more time. I'm gonna change the color to white, keep it in the center, and let's show it for 10 seconds. Then I'll save for later. Now let's have a remote guest join us. Oh look, and there he is, Ryan Reynolds. Now that our guest has arrived, let's start the live stream. Once you've added those social platforms and destinations, you'll see the record button now says go live. It's gonna record and stream live at the same time. And you still get high quality video and audio recordings even while you're live streaming. I'll click go live here. And now you and your remote guests are being recorded in high quality video and audio. And this is live streaming to those different platforms. Now during the live stream, I can go back to the text tool here on the right side. I can still create lower thirds even while we're streaming and recording. So maybe you forgot to do a URL or a sponsor, you can still add that in the middle of your stream. But let's show one of our lower thirds. Let's change this to five seconds and let's show it. You'll see that lower third appear on the video. This is also going to the live stream. And then after five seconds, it's gonna disappear. If you ever wanna preview one of the destinations that you're streaming to, just click the live record menu up here and then click the destination logo. Let's show that lower third one more time. And you can see what it looks like here on Twitch as well. Also, if you wanna show the full 16 by nine video frame of you and your remote guests, even while you're live streaming, you can go back to the studio branding tab here and then choose under video frame to fit. That will show the full 16 by nine aspect ratio of the video. If we go back over to Twitch, now you'll see me and my remote guests, the full video here uncropped. Let's create another lower third real quick. Maybe we're gonna talk about the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Let's customize that real quick. We want it to be large, show up in the center. We'll keep our branding color of the teal and we're gonna show this for 10 seconds. Let's save and show it immediately. And now you see that lower third appears. We have that 10 second timer on. So once that hits 10 seconds, it will automatically remove itself from the stream. And you see it just disappeared. And if you hadn't heard, we have a new OmniChat feature, which will take the chats from your destinations like Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, bring all those comments into the Riverside Studio so you can reply to them without having to have multiple windows open. I can go to the chat menu here on the right-hand side. You'll see there's a studio chat 
That's a private chat just for you as the host and any guests or producers if you want to communicate privately, but also the live stream chat. And you'll see chats from various platforms here with the logo of the platform that comment came from so you know if they're on Twitch, YouTube, or another platform. We'll stop this recording, and now those video and audio files are being uploaded to our studio. Once those files have uploaded, you can scroll down and still get the high quality raw video and audio file. The lower thirds won't be on those videos, so it's a completely clean recording. You can of course use our Magic Clips feature to generate those vertical videos, generate AI show notes here, but let's jump into the editor and see what it looks like all put together. Once you jump into the editor from that recording, you'll see the lower thirds are not present. This way you have a clean video to adjust it however you'd like here in the editor. But if you'd like to add those overlays here, just click the text tool here in the editor. You can choose a title, customize the style and size, drag it wherever you would like, and then you can choose how long they appear on screen by zooming into the timeline here at the bottom and changing those in and out points. Not to mention all the powerful tools you have here in the editor like animated captions in multiple styles, the ability to overlay images, even search for royalty-free images here, change the layout, upload a custom background, and more. When you're ready to export, just click the export button in the top right, and you can share an up to 4K video file, normalize audio so everything's the same volume, and you're ready to export. And that's our new lower thirds tool in the Riverside Studio to make your live streaming even easier. We also have a bunch of new features for live streaming and our editor coming very soon. So subscribe to the YouTube channel here, we're gonna be announcing them shortly, and leave comments below this video if you have any questions about live streaming, lower thirds, or recording with Riverside. And if you'd like to see a walkthrough of the entire platform, check out this playlist right here. I walk you through the entire platform in about eight minutes. And if you wanna upgrade your setup, maybe your camera, microphone, and other audio gear, check out this video right here where you can get pro audio and video at home. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.